Hello everyone and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you some basic headshot retouching. So I'm going to take this photo here and retouching it to get this photo here. So let's hop in here and get started. Okay, let's take our photo that we're going to be editing and open it to the develop module. Okay, once we've done that, let's do some basic uh, lens corrections. I'll go down here to profile corrections and let's choose our lens. Now this automatically detected mine. I was using a Canon EOS M, so it detected the uh, EFM 18 to 55 lens. Okay, let's click on color and choose remove chromatic aberration. Now, I was uh, approached by a user saying we did not move the amount settings even though I did turn remove chromatic aberration on, I'd like to clarify this for everyone that even if you do not move the amount settings, that there is some uh, chromatic aberration reduction done. Now, you only need to move these if you notice any excess, or you can use the little eyedropper here and choose where it is in the photo and choose and uh, to help remove it. If you do not see any chromatic uh, issues do not bother just choose it turn it on just in case as a safety precaution and move forward but just to clarify turning it on does remove it it does not always remove enough that's why you had the adjustment settings when it's not enough now <laughs> we got that uh, knocked out of the way let's go ahead and move forward with the tutorial now the white balance needs to be adjusted on this photo here since i was using uh flash photography I'm just going to choose flash and that will automatically adjust our colors the way they sh should be or pretty close to this photo anyway okay now since we got that done let's do a little bit of uh, adjustment on our highlights and stuff here now I'm not going to bring in the highlights and shadows all the way up and down as I normally do on like a landscape photo this is a portrait type of uh, shot so we do this a little bit and adjust them as we need so for the highlights here, there is a little bit of highlights I'd like to reduce. So I'm gonna bring it down to about a negative 10 or negative nine is close enough. The shadows though, up under the brim of the cap here, I do wanna bring up to kind of brighten those up some. And we see, I think it was about, actually I think I brought that up quite high there. Yeah, maybe a plus 100. We'll see how that goes. I may have to bring it back down. And the whites we brought up here quite a bit too. About plus 30. And brighten the image up quite a bit. And the blacks I left where they are. Now the clarity here I brought down. I bring the clarity down a, quite a bit on some photos. It seems to soften skin. A lot of people prefer to have their skin a little bit softer, when, at least in a portrait. Although you'd still want to make sure things look good, crisp, and clear. But like I said, it helps kind of globally soften the skin up a little bit, which is preferred by many people. Now, I have to bring my saturation down just a little bit on some of my uh, portraits. And you do want to be careful, though. You do not want to bring it to down too much. It makes people look kind of like they done passed away, which isn't what we're going for here. So uh, I bring it bring down normally just no more than 10 and see how that looks. That normally seems to me, give, it, uh, to me it gives a more natural looking skin tone. Okay, now we've got that done. Bring my contrast up a little bit here. And I'm thinking this is looking pretty close here, about a plus 20 plus, yeah, plus 22 is close enough. That's looking pretty good to me now. Now we've got those global adjustments done, the basic global adjustments. Let's go down here and work on our sharpening a little bit. Sharpening mask, I won't own say pretty high here because I want to mask out a lot of things in the photo and of course we can hit our alt and option key and this will show where uh, our masking is getting done so we can just I want to focus it more just on the eyes and the mouth and the hair so I'm gonna bring this up probably about an 85 yeah just those areas right there the areas that we want to have the most sharpening on because keep in mind this is in fact fake sharpening so by masking it out and you're not removing any sharpening that uh, or sharpness that your lens would otherwise have regardless 
this is uh, fake sharpening so you want to kind of minimize it its usage to uh, as most as much as possible because it can make your images if you zoom in kind of close not look that great at least in my honest opinion okay now let's work on our noise uh, noise reduction here and we just need to adjust our luminance just to say a 10 I think this is shot at ISO 200 so there should be no image noise anyway if there is 10 takes care of it okay once that's done let's go up here and let's do some local adjustments now for this we're going to do a little uh, spot removal you notice my little model I had here let me see if I can turn that off and zoom in here right quick she ended up with a small little zit right before the shot we want to remove that and if it does choose something odd try to find something close and that should do it just make that go away a little worry wart you know we, we can take those other photos you want to kind of leave if a photo is natural looking as possible but something like that most people would not mind removing because that's not something that you, they normally have every day okay so get that done let's do a little brushing here do what's called a little dodge and burn blue not we have to use dodge and burn in some portraits here now i'm going to use burn here and i just first want to darken the eyebrows a lot of times when you take photos like this uh the eyebrows and stuff can easily get kind of washed out looking and that's uh one reason a lot of people who take a lot of portraits and model and stuff the models normally use excessive amounts of makeup because the time they get take the photo and kind of look at it, it kind of looks like it kind of washed out a little bit so for this normally this i kind of just do a little brushing kind of darkening like the eyebrows and stuff kind of make them look like they would normally appear and say like the you know photo whatever or if you have seen the person in uh normal life okay when uh, uh top of the brim of the eye right there a little bit now by default burn is normally on negative 30 we can bring this down a little bit here just till it looks more natural but don't want to go excess on it i'm thinking about a one point let me see a 1.39 that looks close enough for me okay once that's done we can do another brush here and just click on new now i want to pop in a little clarity let's see if we can't find it in the list here and that pops up clarity in plus 50. let's jack it on up 100. okay now i want to start on the other eyebrow here and do a little clarity there a little clarity here a little clarity on the hair and of course a little clarity in the eyes Clarity of the lips. Just a little bit more on those eyebrows, but it can look as clear as possible. I like that quite a bit. Okay, let's do a new brush here. Let's brighten those eyes up just a little bit here. Let's see if I can't find it. Iris and hands, soft and skin. Teeth whitening. Teeth whitening normally actually does work quite well. It pops the exposure up just a little bit as well as the saturation. Now, if we zoom in here, and we can see, yeah, exposure up 0.40, saturation minus 60. Let's just get just an iris here. And that'll brighten those eyeballs up just a little bit and take any kind of redness out. Then that looks pretty good. I'm gonna leave it about right there. But if you wanted to adjust it, you could actually bring it up just a little bit more. Just be careful, it might make it look odd. We don't want to make it look odd. So let's bring this back down. Let's leave it at plus 54. About a half a stop works pretty good. Once we got that done, let's click new once more. And this time we're going to do a little sin, uh, skin softing. And let's go here and just choose soften skin by default, which is a negative 100 on the clarity. And we could try that there. Let me see here. Let's get our brush. I want to soften up around the lips here just a little bit. Around the lines here. Up under the eyes a little bit. Let me do this. 
soften it up just open the eyes just a little bit. That'll help take out some of those any kind of harsh shadows. And around the between the eyes here, between the eyes and the eyebrows. Give the skin a nice soft glow. And that looks pretty good there, I think. I'm going to keep it about where it is. It's really nice for me. Default setting works pretty good. Okay, I do want to take that sharpness out. I like the sharpening in there. Yeah, it softened up a little bit more for me. Okay, once we've got done with that, let's click on done. I do want to choose a gradient filter. If you notice, it's quite bright from this corner. I want to bring one over here, kind of darken that area down. Still got the same brush we had, but let's go over here and just choose burn. And let's darken this down just a little bit, drop an exposure. Not a negative 85 works really nice right there. That kind of balances out because that light was quite uh, harsh coming from the side. Click done on that. And we're pretty close to being done. Let's go over here and do a little a bit of a uh, post crop vignetting. Now I'm going to kick this in pretty hard here. At a negative 46. But I want to adjust it quite a bit. Uh, midpoint. About 47 there. Roundness, I'm going to leave what it is. I do want to feather it out here quite a bit more. About a 63, which is about where I had it. And that's it on that. So if we take a look at the photo, let's do a little. Okay, there's a before shot. And there's our after. So. <laughs> that looks pretty, pretty much uh, really nice to me. I hope everybody enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. So if you like this tutorial, now how about a thumbs up? Thumbs up's always highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing's free, it's for you, let you know when I release more videos. Until next time everyone, thank you for watching.